It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland, one of the things they'd like to accomplish, getting good shots, may be easier said than done. Defenses are quick to adapt, but they know that that's what gives them the best chance to win. And pro basketball continuing. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Saturday afternoon presentation of NBA Basketball, right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls. So Cleveland will get the first possession. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. We've got Kerr. Hands out there with Elo. Then there's Doherty. And it's Price in at the one spot. Really nice move there. Doherty has such a polished skill set. Makes it an easy conversion for him in the painted area. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset. And that early foul could take you right out of it. Inside. Here's Jordan. Hits the jump hook. And what you like there, and Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Cavaliers head coach and I got a chance to talk. What he's proud of is how well they're playing above the net. He said, I can forgive physical mistakes. Everybody misses shots. What bothers me are the mental mistakes. And I haven't had to get anyone's ear about that with this team. Well, that's pretty heady basketball, Kevin. We'll see if they can keep it going tonight. Thanks a lot, David. Their focus is going to be on good shot selection here early, guys. And it's going to take a team effort. They, they can't have guys going solo and getting themselves into tough one-on-one -on -one situations. It wouldn't hurt to focus on their low post game. It doesn't get any more high percentage than those easy looks and tight. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. And stolen by Jordan. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Paxson kicks to Jordan. Over Kerr. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Here's Elo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And often, this guy's the unsung hero. I mean, Elo just does whatever the team asks of him, and much of which never shows up in the stat sheet. Drops for Elo. And Elo drops them both. Jackson with the ball. Kicks it to Pippen. Outside Jordan. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. It's Jordan on the wing. Six to shoot. Outside for Pippen. A three-pointer off the mark. 
And here are the Cavaliers, trailing by two. Here's Kerr, and that's collected by Grant. Well, this is why you see guys shying away from the mid-range jumper. It's a bit of a lost art. Shoots from 14, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Yeah, and Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Oh, Nance in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> and that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Here's Cartwright. Here's Grant. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, but I just love the winning mentality that Grant brings. A big bruising forward who can score at a steady clip. Bulls shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. The Cavaliers trail by three. It's Elo on the wing, guarded by Pippen. Pass to Price. Over Paxson, and that one's good, Price. Price has got his first points of the game. And the Bulls with possession. Paxson passes to Grant. Here is Paxson, covered by Nance. The shot's good from Paxson. And that's smooth. Fluid, just all in one motion jump shot there. Paxson seems to get the best rhythm on it when someone's setting him up. Now, here's Price. There's the double team with Grant. And then slams it in. Now, flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Here's Jordan. They lead by one. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Steve Kerr. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Now, gentlemen... Two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Corzine, he's checked in for Cartwright. Sellers comes in for Horace Grant. Hodges checked in for Scotty Pippen. And Vincent subbed in for Paxson. Then for the Cavaliers, McKeskey's checked in for Doherty. Rollins comes in for Craig Elo. And it's Williams in for Price. And so Jordan nails both of them. Another made free throw. He can get on these kinds of rolls. Great focus. Kerr against Hodges. Right side, Williams. And Cleveland again with the bucket. And here is Jordan. Six points for him. The pass to Hodges. Here's Vincent, defended by Kerr. Vincent's shot is good. The Cavaliers trail by three. Now, here's Kerr. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Nance. 
And it's off the back rim, no good. And Jordan has it in the corner. Off target from outside. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. And Nance kicks to Kerr. Back to Nance. And it's to the... And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Oh, oh watch your head. It's a beautiful team. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Passes it to Williams. Here's Rollins. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Kerr. Four on the shot clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's Nance. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Nance has got six. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here's Vincent, defended by Kerr. Kicks it to Jordan. Over Nance. And Jordan trains the fadeaway. And as much as he's done to increase the range on his jump shot, this is where Jordan's bread is buttered, that mid-range game. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Bulls lead by five. We've got more in store for you right after this. again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Bulls, what's your take? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. Fun to watch. They give you no time to set up on defense, and we see that reflected in the score. Here's Jordan. Five-point lead, the biggest of the game. We've got Sellers. Michael Jordan is out there with Vincent. Then there's Davis, and it's Purdue in at the center. That's the Bulls' five as we get into the second quarter. Here's Jordan. Chalk up two there. Jordan's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for Chicago. They are just killing them on the interior. Pass to Nance. Back to Kerr. Nance, outside, shot clock at six. Outside, Williams, and stolen by Jordan. All alone, scenario skills by Jordan on the double clutch. A good job there, Jordan getting them in transition, and he does so much, you almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. The pass to McKesson. Over Purdue. Misses off the right iron. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Passes it to Vincent. Outside, Davis. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And the foul is on Reggie Williams. That is his first foul of the game. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Will Purdue. Craig Elo checked in for Cleveland. Price comes in for Steve Kerr. Jordan, the pass to Sellers. Well, he has to be careful now. He doesn't want to pick up that third foul this early. So for the Bulls. Cartwright comes in for Sellers. And Scotty Pippen is subbed in for Jordan. Doherty, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Quarter of action, about a minute and a half play. Here's Vincent, guarded by Price. It's deflected. Pass to Rollins. Davis against Delo. He kicks it to Price. Six on the shot clock. 
shoots over Pippen. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Price. Chicago with the ball. Outside Pippen. Ripped away. Williams scanning the floor. Bulls making a switch here. Maxson's checked in. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Williams. That one's good from the corner. And now just a five-point Bulls lead. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Pippen against Williams. The 11 footer. Williams with the steal. Now Cleveland moving it up. Williams leading the charge. And Williams throws it down. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. No doubt that could be a gigantic swing in momentum given how that sequence developed. And Pippen slams it in. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Down low, Doherty. That's good in its price with the assist. Price has got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Back to Pippen. Pass to Kirk. Shot clock at five. The pass to Baxter. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. No good from Grant. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Williams kicks to Elo. And Cleveland again with the bucket. Yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Some changes. Dave Corzine, he's checked in for Carpenter, and Hodges subbed in for Davis. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Nancy's checked in for Rollins. Here's Paxson, and there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Price looking it over to the paint, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. One-on-one -on -one here, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And he's the consummate professional. I mean, Paxson knows his role, obviously a knockdown shooter, but he gives great effort in everything he does on the floor. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gentlemen, two shots. Woo shots. No good on the free throw. And the Cavaliers with some changes. 
Mikeski's checked in for Doherty. And Kerr is subbed in for Reggie Williams. And he sinks the second. 131 left in the first half. Left side, Nance. Shoots over Grant. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Hodges the best to back side. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. He's made one and this one so far in the game. Sellers checked in for Chicago. Jordan comes in for Scottie Pippen. One shot. That free throw, good from Paxson. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Price against Jordan. Elo left side. Six on the shot clock. Over Jordan. And that one's good. Elo. Elo's got four points this quarter. Chicago leading by five. Now Paxson. Ten points for him. Corzine the pass to Sellers. Basket good. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Elo dishes to Nance. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. Two for one territory, but they got to work quick. This is where the play calling comes in. Let's see what they got. Shot and game clock separated by five. Hodges against Price. Passes it to McKesson. That's in coming off an assist from Price. Taking a workmanlike approach inside. That's the shot you want. Over to the left wing. Here's Hodges. Buries it from three-point range. Hodges has got himself on the board with three there. And what you love about Hodges, such an accurate shooter off the catch. Defensively, you want to make him put the ball on the floor. And so that brings the first half to a close. It's Chicago, up eight. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, it's good to have you back. You're watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. This right here is Kenny the Jet Smith. This right here is Shaquille O'Neal. Me, I'm just Ernie. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. Looking at the Bulls, how about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? You got to like their offense efficiency. They were patient, took good shots. That was reflected in their high field goal percentage. They just need to keep playing smart in the second half and close this thing out. Don't get cute now. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see from Cleveland? Well, they're facing a team that shot very well in the first half. Now, that being said, they probably weren't aggressive enough on the defensive end. That was the difference. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. And let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, you like to run more doubles at him, but the risk there is opens up things for everybody else.
Here's Pippen. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for Cleveland. They've got Price. Hands out there with Doherty. Then it's Kerr, and it's Elo in at the small forward position. The shot's good from Jordan. And we've seen it. He can do this all game. Jordan with a great burst there to get the finish. Price kicks to Doherty, and it's tonight. Backs in against Price. And the seven-foot-one one Bill Cartwright extends for the rebound. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And here's Price. He brings it up for the Cavaliers. A 12-point game. Pass to Nance. Shoots over Grant. The shot's good from Nance. Nance has got eight points. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Elo against Pippen. Right side, Jordan, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Jordan's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And look, you never want to see a team gut you this way. Really a good timeout. Some of this is just a matter of toughness, a willingness to play physical inside, something we're not seeing. Just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Doherty the pass to Price. And then slams it in. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Pippen kicks to Grant. Pass to Jordan. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. There's the pass to Kerr. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Williams has checked in. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Passes to Doherty. Elo outside. Shot clock at six. Over in the corner, Williams. Back to Elo. From deep. Chicago grabs the miss. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. to Pippen, shoots over Elo, and Pippen with the basket. The assist from Michael Jordan. And they are earning points with the jump shot now. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Kerr with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Banked in off the glass. A nice move. Attacking in the paint with confidence. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. For Chicago, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. Michael Jordan at the line for two. Thank you. 
free throw. Good, Jordan. So for the Bulls. Corzine comes in for Bill Cartwright. And Zeller sub in for Pippen. Cleveland also making some changes. McKeskey comes in for Brad Doherty. And Rollins subbed in for Elo. And so Jordan nails both of them. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Kerr kicks to Nance. That's tipped. Stolen by Grant. It's three on three on the fast break. Jordan inside. Working on Williams. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Elbow shot is on the way. Larry Nance comes up with the rebound. Cleveland with the ball. Pass to Kerr. To the inside. Just five on the clock. Over in the corner, Williams. And stolen by Jordan. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. It's rebounded by Mokeski. That was very tight defense. He tried to force the layup anyway. I think that was a questionable decision. And the jam by Larry Nance. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. The feed now to Grant. Just five on the clock. Pulls up on the wing. Got that bucket. Jordan's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Timeout called Cleveland. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. We've got 123 left to play here in the third. Aston Ants. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Not letting his team down. He's been very strong. He just needs a little help from his teammates. Jordan, the pass to Sellers. Back to Jordan. Here's Grant. Can't convert the two-handed jam. And, you know, you can see in his eyes, he knows that is not a dunk he should have missed. Outside, Williams. Pulls up. High post. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Here's Sellers. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Kerr kicks to Nance. Corner shot. Cleveland the rebound. The shot's good from Mokeski. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Jordan against Williams. Outside Jordan, beyond the arc. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. 
going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Hart right is out there with Sellers. And it's John Paxson. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Hodges in at the two spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now the pass to Paxson. To the paint. Here is Hodges. Elo covering. Passes it to Sellers. 11 feet away. Jump shot is good that time. Sellers has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Bulls. Hacks in against Price. The dish to Nance. Pass to McKeskey. Price against Paxson. Goes up on the wing. No good from Price. Chicago leading by 12. To the paint. Here's Sellers. Good on the shot. Sellers has got four points in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Price the pass to Rollins. That's good, and it's Price with the assist. Price has got his seventh assist in the game. And you have to appreciate the aggression. Nice work inside. Outside Jordan. Pass to Carter. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Cartwright's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. And the Cavaliers call time here. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. You know, this is the right move. Maybe a break in the action will cool him down. Grant, he's checked in for Sellers. And Scotty Pippen is subbed in for Hodges. And then for Cleveland, Brad Doherty, he's checked in for Mokeski. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Rollins. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. See if that pep top got him going, guys. That one drops for him. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. With this big of a deficit in the score, you think the losing team would be playing harder. Nope, the opposite. Inside and stolen by Jordan. Packs in against Price. And here's the fast break. Price leading the way. He gets it in there. And a lot to like about that play, particularly how it ends. Yeah, at the rack. That's what you want in transition, a high percentage look. Jordan gets to Pippen. And there's the pass to Grant. 
Cuts it five from 18. And the Bulls tack on two more. It's just one of those nights where Jordan can do no wrong offensively. And let's talk about the endurance to go along with it. Wow. Hacks in against Price. Three. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Chicago leading by 14. And here's Pippen. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Grant outside. Six to shoot. Shoots a fader, and the shot is good. When you have space like he did there, you never go with the fadeaway jumper. He has to attack the rim next time. Price dishes to Nance. Ball's knocked loose, and that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Chicago making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. Sam Vincent. Bulls on D. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Feeds to Nance. Pocket six. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. One fifty-one left in the game. Here's Jordan. The teardrop falls in. Jordan's got 14 points here in the second half. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. Price the pass to Dorty. Over Cartwright. Dorty no luck. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right. Yet, you just can't complete the play. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls tack on two more. And we see it all the time, guys. You get the big lead, maybe check out mentally, but, but not tonight. They have this game in hand, but they're still pouring it on. Timeout call. The game we've seen from him it's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself there wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight the better he played the more these fans got revved up and that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance Side, Jones tipped away. Here's Hodges. Good. And the Bulls lead by 20. One eleven left to play here in the fourth. Jones against Hodges. Back to Jones. Oh. 
Nance passes to Rollins. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw drops for Rollins. He doesn't get the second one. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Corzine. And the dunk by Corzine. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? Well, this is less about winning the game now and more about making a bold statement. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And Hodges kicks to Davis. Here's Jordan. Down low. Corzine. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Well, as much scoring as Jordan does, the only thing he really cares about is that the team wins. Passes it to Rollins. Nance outside. Pass to Mokeski. And that falls. And this is the value of letting the play develop. You find the weakness in the defense. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. They poured it on tonight. Dominic showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you later.